good. Does people bring you support? Like, yeah, we've had amazing support. Amazing. Like, like, like bring, you, you, food you, of course. And supplies. Yeah, dropping food. Yeah. Yeah. That's Just good. Absolutely brilliant. You can see Oh, good. Go so through. I'll show you, this is the gate, this is where, we've only got one way in and one way out. Alright. We've got our oh, fan in here. Sometimes you can so see this so close if you can hear them barking. Oh, yeah. They've just shut the other gate, because sometimes you can, leave it open, you can see all the way down so you can actually see the sheds, but they keep this shut, yeah. so people don't see anything, you know, oh, and we have God. got a car there as well. So this is the someone else's car. No, this is our car. We're trying to cause as, as much us. Yeah. Just so at least you stop. In a, in a peaceful way. We are yeah. we are, it is peaceful. Oh um, my gosh. They're not they're not really look. Yeah. You it's know, like a see, prison yeah, cell. It is, isn't it? Like there's sharp fencing everywhere, you know. They but, really do not want anyone yeah. to know what this place is. Oh my gosh, it's not Do you know, a... the reason I stayed here was to try and inspire people. That's what I wanted. I wanted to inspire people to come down, to stay, mm. support, help. And obviously, it's been amazing. The support has been Good. immense. Good. You know, because, yeah, all we, want, all we want is to get them out. Yeah. You know, we're, so we're, we're, yeah, we're trying to do that as peacefully as possible. Yeah. You know? Um, yeah. So, yeah, so I'll show well, you down this way. Yeah. You know what we're doing here. Mm. People can automatically get like really, really defensive. So we actually know. Yeah, of course. If you come, if people really stop and see what and hear you out, guys. Yeah. They will. Ah. I'm gonna go down this way. I say it is civil trespass, but this doesn't actually belong to them. So if they do see you, just ignore them. It is quite, yeah, just be careful because there is a lot of um, stingers. Stingers. But in the morning, when they're when they, um, going in, you can hear them like, you can hear them in there like banging around, um, sweeping, banging cages. And you know where they are because the dogs start barking at one end and it goes quiet, you can hear them moving to the other end. Because that's the only time they'll get their interaction with uh, oh. humans. You know, that and when they do that training I talked about earlier. Yeah. That's the only time. Oh, you can probably hear them now. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my gosh. So, you know, this is very distressing. I will tell you. Oh my gosh, yes guys, you can hear actually the dogs howling. Oh, so that's dogs. where this is the start with the barn, look. See? See that little window there, look? Darkness. See it? Yeah. You oh. hear them? Yeah. Hi guys, you can hear the dogs crying actually. Gosh, I think everyone out there listening to this and watching this, we should really, really come out and, you know, say our voice to stop these things yeah so i'll take you further down because you can see more when you get to the bottom there can you smell it yeah can you smell the oh smell oh my gosh this is the smell i was talking about earlier <coughs> yeah that strong urine shaving soap urine smell that's what this is smell. disgusting it is <coughs> because i don't care about these animals you know they're just gonna they're just disposable. That's all they are with money. Each one's got a price. And MDR have said, you can breed whatever you want. If you want a dog with three legs, we can do it. If you want a dog with a large heart, we can do it. They don't care. So they've got the money, they don't care. 
I think the dogs can hear us here. Thinking. Yes, yeah, so we got. Um, this is it. This oh is it. So how guys, it smells. Yeah, the windows, windowless, absolutely. That's how they kept. That's where they kept the dogs, guys. People of England, you're supposed to be dog lovers, and why are you allowing these things? You should be the world's number one protector of animals yeah. so the, the, the world the rest of the world will follow but this is not good So if you go through the MBR Beagles, there's actual footage, like drone footage, of how big it is. Bloody See? And that's there. That is the distance. That barn is all they'll ever know. That and a laboratory cage. Yeah, just be careful. So. See how they've got like a ventilator? Because that's how they keep it all going. Because they don't get any like natural air or stimulation. So they have to have that to keep it all going. Look. And this here, if you look at the footage, this bit here is where they load them. So they bring the van here and yeah, they, they, load, they load them, they shift them like stock in a warehouse. That's it. That's all they do. And see the yellow bins over there? Because oh they, they so are yellow bins. a biohazard. Yeah. Um, waste. That's where they that's where they kept the, the dead body then of the dogs, is it? That's what's happening. They they That's the, where they put the dead dogs, yeah. The dogs. Yeah. Yeah, but when I was last time I was up here, you know, what, saw the shavings going in to that big container there, and they were absolutely soaked. It was full of wheat and poo. And um, yeah, he's seen me. Don't worry, he knows I'm here. Um, and like, like I say, that is just that couldn't have accumulated from just one shift's worth. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, you know, and that's so damaging to their pores because they're on that. They have no bedding, so they are literally lying and sitting in their own wee and poo. Constantly, you know, it's a it's a battery farm um, set up here for dogs and puppies. There are puppies in here, and in one of them, there will be breeding females. They will just be bred and bred and bred. They can't do it anymore. That's it. They have a lethal injection, and they so, dispose of like trash. So, what? Apart from what they're trying to do, are they selling that to every to anyone who wants some? So they're selling it. So they're selling it to the laboratory. So we've got co-vans oh. up the road. And we've got co <coughs> yeah, it does smell. And there's co-vans all over the country, um, so they will sell them to them. As a oh, and universities as well. Anyone who's got the money, they'll do it. So those poor dogs, they are, what? in those vans, you know, they're absolutely terrified, because this is all they've ever known. Absolutely terrified, yelping, crying, oh. you know, shoved in those little little carriers, dog carriers. So guys, this no is food, not no this, water. That's it. These guys are not really just making this up. No. So look at this. It is really a factory. Oh, it is. For it animals. is. It's a dog factory for dogs. You know, it's heartbreaking because when when the um, van came back later, they often they were unloading all those carriers. You know, those poor dogs. Yeah. It's absolutely. I've seen them go out for myself. It, I can tell you, it's heartbreaking. There's no but other words. There's people who works there's, here. Why do you even work in this environment? I know. I know. It's. Oh my god. A lot of them. A lot of them have got dogs at home. Yeah. They've got dogs at home. They've got their own dogs. They're very. You know. I've seen them walk in with crates and stuff like COVID's on the road. We see them going in with crates and dog toys. Yeah. While they're going to go in, basically torch them for the day. What's the point? Yeah. yeah. I know. If you can do that, they become, become desensitized because they get used to it. They probably they get told the same things over. Oh, you know, it's a very good thing. It's you know, you're doing a good thing. Oh, look at the dogs. Oh, we, we get to fuss all the dogs all day. But they're desensitized for what happens next. What happens mm. to those beagles when they go in those laboratories? Yeah. Because it's not a happy ending. 
you know, they will convulse blood. You know, they'll be in pain because they can't have pain relief because that will interfere with those unnecessary tests. Because it is unnecessary. It is unnecessary. It is so they'll be writhing in what? agony. There's pictures. There is pictures of dogs. Um, you know, beagles with blood all in their kennels. Oh my gosh. You know, and if and that, and then if they survive that, you know, they can be kept alive probably up to five years. And then they'll and be then... through that time and time again, and then cut up. You know, there's been some shocking footage of Do we have in America as well. They're actually killing the puppies in front of each other at Covance. Oh my god. Yeah, and I'm actually laughing while they're trying to get the needle to euthanise them. Oh my god. Yeah. You know, those puppies are yelping out in pain, you know, and they're killing them right in front of each other. Now, we all know how sensitive dogs are. Hmm. They're doing it right in front of each other. Oh they're my, oh dogs. my gosh, oh my gosh. I couldn't You're get not... it out of my head, you know, they couldn't get no. the needle in. And they were, they were getting crossed and, yeah, oh. it was oh. awful. Oh my and they said to me, like, oh, you put up a good fight, didn't you? Before cutting them open and putting his, all his guts and insides into a bin and then shoving them on a the table and cutting them up. There's been another one I've seen where what? the bee, where the beagles have reached the end because as soon as they've got what they've wanted, they'll kill them. They don't care. They've got this place. They can get more. Oh, and um, a technician had this beagle and they like he like ruffled its head like in a joke and said, "Oh, you're going to die like that." These, they're not nice people. No, what we don't need to test. We don't need to test animals, people. We don't need to be here. We shouldn't be here, that's what I mean, we shouldn't be here having to do this. Yeah. Because this is barbaric. This is barbaric. You don't, it's they don't need to do this. They're just doing it for the money. So it's, yeah. See how, see how it's out of the way? It is out nothing, of the way. Nothing really going Guys, on. Guys, this is such a criminal act for it me. It is. I think it's, it's, ha it's it like people just want to go through like putting their head in the sand. We need you here. We need you to help us now, support us to shut this place down. So please come down or share on stuff online. Please help us end this now. Do it for the dogs. You know, yeah. we're not here for ourselves. We are here for the dogs. Mm. Our aim is to get this place shut down and all those puppies and bigger mums in loving homes. Yeah. That is our aim. And we're, we're trying to do it as peacefully as possible. So uh, that's it. You heard the... Bethany. Be Bethany. Yeah. Be Bethany, about what is real, the dog's world in there, it's nothing, it's yeah. really horrendous. So, yeah, there's no way to justify this, so please yeah. come down, support us, and if we work together, we will get this place shut down and we will get them out. Thank you. Thank you.